what is up youtube it's your girl lay and today i'm going to be doing another video and it's basically going to be a reaction video and it is going to be about the friend who pushed her friend off a bridge what was it off a bridge and you know what they say is if your friend jump off the bridge you're gonna jump off the bridge too girl she pushed her ass off the bridge so we're gonna have to go ahead and leave this y'all gotta leave a little like on this video Leave a little comment down below. Like, what would you do if your friend pushed you off a bridge? Um, lie. <laughs> what would you do if your friend pushed you off a bridge? What would you do in this situation? Which one would you be? Would you be the one pushing your friend off a bridge? Or would you be the one getting pushed off a bridge? You can leave an anonymous comment. But, be, I'm going to tell you right now. Unless, unless it be trying to fight. Which one would you be? Would you be the friend that's pushing the bitch off the cliff, regardless of circumstances, or would you be the one that actually get pushed off the cliff because you just like, you just, I don't know, what's what's, regardless of circumstances, which one? Me, regardless of circumstances, ugh, regardless of circumstances, I'm gonna be the one that's pushing somebody off the cliff. I feel like I would be so clumsy to actually bounce somebody off the cliff. Like, but on some, regardless of circumstances. I would have been the one to push that bit off the cliff. Because I usually be watching my back when I be in situations like this. But I really don't be playing with people's heart to be trying to really, uh, huh, huh, let me play with you like that. I don't be trying to push nobody. But, like, it's, regardless of circumstances, I be pushing. I'm pushed up here, person. I don't want to. I don't be pushing people off cliffs. But regardless of circumstances, I'm going to push the bitch according to the question okay you leave a comment in the comment section what you gonna do are you going to push that bit or that dude or are you going to be the one that get pushed off the cliff y'all or the bridge let me know in the comment section down below and like this video y'all and also um yeah make that bitch jump in the comment section make the like button jump and also subscribe to my channel y'all because i'm trying to get up i'm trying to get up be trying to get up like literally stand up okay and so with that being said y'all already know what's going on y'all already know what's going on with these headphones these last headphones y'all but we gonna get it done i'm so sorry that thing is right there um we gonna get it done teenager who shoved her friend off a 60-foot high bridge will spend as much time in jail as her friend spent in the hospital. Attorneys thought they'd worked out a plea deal to keep the young woman out of jail, but the judge had another idea. Punishment for the teen who pushed her friend off a bridge. 19-year-old Taylor Smith Damn, was in tears as she was, was she? escorted away in handcuffs after being sentenced to two days in jail. The ruling surprised both sides. Two Taylor days! guilty to reckless endangerment and prosecutors recommended no jail time, but the judge refused to go along. Jordan, I'm gonna push you. No. This is the moment Taylor pushed Jordan Holgerson off the bridge in Washington State last August. Ready? <laughs> Jordan plunged 60 feet into the water, landing chest first. She suffered six oh, broken ribs hell and punctured no. lungs. At the sentencing, Taylor said she was <laughs> sorry. I'd like to sincerely apologize to Jordan Holgerson and his family and friends for the pain and humiliation I had caused by my mindless action that occurred last summer. Then off she went to jail for two days. Jordan says she's ready to move on. I think it's probably just as emotional for her as, as me. Ready? I'm happy it's over. <laughs> I'm happy for him living. Taylor Smith was also ordered to spend 38 days on a work crew. Don't do that. Don't do that. In these circumstances, I would not be that friend. I, I ain't that goddamn. I don't know what the fuck careless. I'm not that damn careless. I'm actually somebody that's like very gentle with people, and I know how to get people's face and shit. Now, when it comes to like 
this person i don't know what she was on what she thought she was doing where her head was at what the hell going on what the fuck was on that what day it was what the bitch did before she was out there on the goddamn side of the cliff and while her friend was on the other side of the bridge in the first place Are you serious? Are you serious? Girl would have been fighting on the way down, bitch. I'll be like, oh, bitch, it's, it's up. <laughs> when I get back up there, it's up, oh. Oh, hell no. I would have beat her up. I don't play shit like that. Like, bitch, if you got a problem with me that deep, like, just, 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 just tell me. You ain't got to push me off no goddamn cliff. I know 15 bitches on my moms. I know I'm on me. I know 15 bitches that will really push my ass off a cliff. So that's why I'm like. I know about 15 to 20, about 30 people that push me off a cliff, right? So I know how that go. I just be around people that play too much all the time. I be around people that actually got intentions that be mad and then they be doing shit. They be like, oh, okay, like. And I don't be mean to be like that, but like, like be around people like that, but like, I genuinely be around people that have like ill intentions like that. And I be like, fuck this, you, bro. Like, I really be around people that be really like this. Like, it'll have you right here on the edge of the cliff, but, like, girl, stop playing. We ain't got time to play right now. I got people like that. They don't accidentally have your ass slip off the cliff for no reason. And they was really trying to make sure you was good, but they did the wrong thing with the wrong move, wrong place, wrong time. Bitch, this was like a pre-anticipated, like she told her that she was going to do that. And that is so fucked up. So y'all, like I said, leave in the comment section down below. Which one would you be, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the situation, regardless of the context. Leave it in the comment section down below. Because would you, would you rather be, and then also, would you rather be the one that got pushed off the cliff or the one that or the one that actually pushed somebody off the cliff like off the bridge whatever the fuck that shit was at this point it's giving cliff vibes y'all it's giving cliff vibes like for real it's giving cliff vibes Y'all, I don't know. If I, I don't even know if I want friends anymore after that. No, I'm just playing. I do like friends, but bitch, damn, we just not going nowhere where it's a bridge. And after this video, we not going nowhere on the edge of a goddamn cliff. And if I am, I'm recording. Remember that, y'all. Remember that, cause bro. If a friend do you like that, how you gonna feel? Like, I don't even know what to say after that. That was fucked up, but what the fuck is bitches on? And then she only got two days of jail. What do you mean she only got two days of jail for pushing somebody off a cliff? This is that shit I be talking about, bro. This is why people feel so confident in their bullshit. Because it be such, it be, it be such a, it be such a light heart to ill will. You know what I'm saying? It's such a light heart to ill will. And then people that be doing shit, I don't even know. Like, I can't even go any further. But all I got to say is that this is a hot mess. And the fact that she got only two days in jail and then try to make it cute. Like, since you pushed her off the cliff, you're going to be in there as long as she was in there. I'm thinking like, okay, 15 hours, 15 years. And she up in there crying. 